or emails from criminals trying to rope us into some sort of scam. And we know that many of them originate overseas, especially from the West African country of Nigeria. Why do so many there turn to online crime? Now a former scam artist there is speaking out to our Jacob Ward about how and why he did it. In this city in Southwest Nigeria, everyone seems to know someone who scams Americans online. The bunch of scamming people, that culture I think is in Nigeria, yes. And they say it is simply because there are no other jobs. When you've tried good, it doesn't work. You have to turn to evil. Chris, that's the name he gave us, says that was his situation. I have three elder siblings and none of them has a job. For five years, he approached American women online. Mostly midnight. Sometimes I, I sleep by 5 a.m. So you'd stay up all night doing this? Yeah, all night. And I have to go to class by 7 a.m. Finally, he convinced a woman from Texas that they were in love. I spent a lot of time talking to her. She, she, she wants attention. People in America want attention. I don't consider myself stupid, but they got me. Laura Francis was 68 when another scammer, Peter Trace to Nigeria, found her. He would send beautiful sayings every morning. Good morning, sweetheart. So happy that I met you. But it was this question that did the trick. Don't you think you're worthy of being loved? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, that's kind of a question I hadn't thought about. Then the scammer began inventing financial emergencies. How much did you end up losing? $248,800. I'm so sorry. I'm going to survive. Um, I'm just not going to be able to do what I had planned on doing. For victims, the lesson is clear. Your alarm bell should be ringing when these new relationships, whether romantic or otherwise, start asking you for your hard-earned dollars. Chris got only $20,000 out of his victim, but that is 10 years' salary in a country where more than half of the population lives in extreme poverty. Chris says he was so remorseful he confessed to his victim. She cried for days, but to my surprise, she did not love me. She adopted me like a son. And today, he consults with an American company, Social Catfish, to spot future scams. For Laura, the experience taught her about evil, she says, but also about poverty. And they need to find jobs for these guys, and they need to give them a better way of life. Until then, millions of young men like Chris have no better option than to look for the lonely online. Jake Ward, NBC News, San Francisco.